Hi guys, myself Vijayta Vardhan and in this video lecture session we are going to discuss about the initial positions of the square prisms and square pyramids. Now, what is called as prism and pyramids in my previous video lecture I have already explained it and for which one can refer the same using the link which is available in the description. Now, let us consider this as the prism and this as the pyramid. Now, if this is the prism, the prism is going to be drawn like this. This is going to be the side resting or edge resting prism. Now, one can see that if it is rotated in the clockwise direction, it is resting on one of its edges. Now, if the same front view is going to be rotated in the clock anti-clockwise direction or counterclockwise direction, one can see that it is also resting in one of its base edges. Now, if this is going to be the front view of the prisms. Now, either we rotate in the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction, it is going to be the edge resting prisms always. Now, if I am going to come to the pyramids, Prism, pyramids are slightly different than the pyramids. Now, whatever the given inclination is there, if I am going to rotate for the given inclination, whether if I rotate in the clockwise direction, it is going to be the side or edge resting. And here also one can observe in the anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise it is going to be the side or edge resting. Now, the next type is called as the slant triangular face resting. What is the slant triangular face resting? Now you can see this is the top view of the slant triangular faces which is going to be laid on a XY line which is nothing but it is going to be on the HP. Now, these are the initial positions for slant triangular face resting. That means if a square is going to be constructed like this, if it is a prism, it is going to be a side or edge resting. In case of a pyramid, it is also a side or edge resting. In addition to that, this is also called as slant triangular face resting. Now, in the same fashion, this is called as, in, in the same fashion, we have to discuss the corner resting prisms and pyramids of the square, one can see that this is the initial position of the corner resting square. Now, the corner resting square is going to be constructed like this. Now, one can see that the front and top views of the prisms have been constructed here. In case of a clockwise rotation, it is resting on only a corner here. That's why it is called as corner resting prisms. If the same figure is rotated in the anti-clockwise direction, or a counterclockwise direction, one can see that it is also a corner resting prisms. But whereas in case of a pyramid, for a given angle, if you are going to rotate in the clockwise direction or if you are going to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction, both are going to be the corner resting. And if whatever the slant edge is there, if it is going to be rested on the HP, then we call it as slant edge resting. So these are the different types of initial positions. Now these are the initial position for a prisms and a pyramid for corner resting and this is a initial position for pyramids and a prism of square based with respect to side or base edge resting. Now in the same fashion the next type of uh, solid what we have to discuss is called as pentagonal prism. Now in case of pentagonal prism if this is the pentagon we are going to construct now the front the, the front and top views has been constructed here. Now the front view is going to be rotated in the clockwise direction it is resting on a edge. Now if the same front view is going to be rotated in the anti-clockwise direction this is going to be a corner resting. Now the same initial positions if you are going to consider the direction of rotation is going to decide at whether it is a side resting or the corner resting. But whereas in case of a square based prism or the prisms the initial positions differs for side resting as well as corner resting but whereas in case of pentagon one that is in case of clockwise direction if this is the initial position it is going to be the side resting and this is going to be the corner resting. Now in the same fashion if I am going to consider the pyramids if this is the top and front view if that front view is rotated at a certain angle now one can see that it is resting on one of its edges in clockwise direction and if it is going to be taken further then this is going to be the slant edge resting sorry the slant triangular face resting now if the same pentagonal pyramid if it is going to be rotated in the clockwise direction it will become either a corner resting 
or a slant edge resting like this. Now these are the initial positions of the pentagonal pyramid and prisms. Whereas the hexagonal pyramid initial positions is as similar to the square prisms. Now the this is called as the side resting prism and side resting pyramids as well as the slant triangular faces pyramids and this is called as corner resting hexagon hexagonal prism and this is called as corner resting hexagonal pyramids as well as slant edge resting hexagonal pyramids which is as similar to the square based solids in the next video lecture session i am going to discuss about the construction of tetrahedron and its initial position thank you for watching this video